Hey Geminis, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Thank you for joining me today. So we're going to be doing the November 2018 reading for you guys. Male and female Geminis. Okay, so we're going to start with love as usual. Take a look and see. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Um, I feel for some of you, you've lost someone. Um, like somebody walked out on you or something like that. Or you just uh, had a breakup. Let's see. You guys could be healing from a relationship. many let's see this one. Oh, seven of swords so some of you could have been cheated on uh, lied to deceived the empress reverse okay um, I feel for some of you you were led on Someone was making you think that this relationship was more than it actually was for them or, or vice versa. You were doing this to somebody else. I feel for most of you, it's going to be, it was done to you. Okay, so turn on your heart light. We have the four of pentacles. So I feel like there was a bad experience. You went through some painful uh, situation and now it's like you're not really ready to open yourself up to loving anybody else you're being very guarded and protective of your heart yeah the three of swords so you were definitely heartbroken probably i don't know for some of you it could have been just recently in october um or for others of you it's it's been even a couple months a few months up to seven months but um but yeah, you've been trying to heal from this. We have treasure your loved ones. The six of pentacles re reverse. It says it's important to love others deeply. So I feel like whatever uh, relationship you were in with the six of pentacles reverse, I feel like maybe you were giving a lot more to the relationship than, than the other person. So created an imbalance here. And, you know, what this is saying, like creating awareness to you, that it's important you know not just to give love but to receive it as well for it to be reciprocated we have the magician reverse again i'm getting a feeling that um somebody was leading someone on you know creating some sort of illusion that there was a deeper love than there actually was okay so let's take a look at the celtic cross I'm using the before tarot today it's a new deck that i have i'm really liking it i hope you guys like it too okay so let's see All right, so I'm starting to offer uh, email readings now. If you guys are interested, one question is $15, and I deliver the, the um, response via email. Uh, two questions for $25, and then the usual video readings, half an hour and an hour that I do. Uh, so if you're interested in that, email me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands Reverse. The page of wands reverse is what's um, crossing you. In the foundation, we have the eight of cups. In the uh, past, we have the eight of wands. Eight of swords is what's crowning you. Okay. Oh, 
nine of swords in the near future how you see yourself is the six of pentacles reverse how your partner sees you is the four of pentacles or how others perceive you uh, your hopes or fears are the high priestess reverse and your overall outcome is the king of cups reverse okay So, yeah, I feel like you guys um, never got, you know, what you felt that you deserved in this relationship. You never got the gratitude. You never got the love and affection that you were expecting. Um, but it's like it's been hard for you to start over. You know, you had to walk away from this situation or, or you will have to walk away from the situation in the month of November. Um, whether or not you do, I don't know, but it's like you have an understanding that this relationship isn't going to go anywhere. Let's see what this three of wands reverse is about. See the seven of swords again. So there was deceit here that you just were not expecting. You never thought this person would treat you this way, lie to you, uh, cheat on you, whatever the case may be. It's like you, you really just did not see it coming. Temperance reverse. So it, it just kind of tore everything apart. Let's see what this page of wands reverse is. Why is this crossing you? The four of cups re, uh, upright actually. And the star. Okay, so for some of you, um, I feel like you're in the situation here in the month of November where you find out that your partner, again, has been deceiving you in some way. <coughs> and this just puts the whole relationship off balance. It just throws everything off. I do feel like maybe they even walked away from you or you walked away, but it was like temporarily. Or there's like a, an understanding that that's what should happen. But I do feel like, um, you know, Geminis are still kind of holding on. Like they don't, like you're not really wanting to take that, that plunge because you're holding out hope. Yeah, you understand that right now you're not happy with this. This is not okay. Um, but you still have faith that the situation can be salvaged. Let me see this Eight of Cups. The Five of Pentacles Reverse. And the strength reverse. Yeah, I feel like you guys uh, either get ready to leave or, the, you know, your partner sees that this time you're really pissed and you're leaving. And something happens to where it's like they're your weakness, you know. So they're able to turn the situation around and make you stay. Or somehow the, turn, the situation turns around because, again, this person is a weakness of yours. And so that's why, like, I don't really get the feeling that you're leaving. It's almost like you know you should, but we don't always do what we should do. Okay, in the past we have the Eight of Wands with the Two of Wands. So your partner um, may have had you in a third party situation here in the past, I feel. Uh, the Empress sometimes comes up as like a mistress. So I feel like there was a choice between two and that, that was communicated or, or um, yeah. And it wasn't fair for you. You may have gotten, you may have got, some of you may have got actually gotten a phone call from another woman. Hmm. Or for some of you, you were caught with another woman. It just depends. Okay, let me see. What is crowning you is the Ace of Swords. So, okay. The Ace of Swords could be like a sudden idea, um, some kind of plan or some kind of truth or communication. We are have the Ten of Pentacles is what's clarifying it. So... I feel like you're having this um, these thoughts of 
letting go of any relationship that you once had. Uh, for some of you, it could be a marriage. For others, it's just somebody that you've been with for a long time. You might have children with them. Um, okay, we have the Eight of Wands and the Hangman Reverse. So yeah, it's like you know that you have to take some type of action, but this is all mental right now. There is no action being taken just yet. Um, you're just not there yet. But it's, it's like you're planning it. You're planning your exit. Now, in the near future, we have the Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords. Wow, clarified by the Ten of Swords reverse. So, let's see. The Page of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. I feel like you guys do end up leaving this relationship, but it's almost like for some of you, you it's almost like you want to keep this relationship, even though it's not, um, they're not treating you right, but it's almost like you want to keep them on the back burner. I, I feel like some of you fear being alone, so you'd rather just keep this relationship, you know, kind of off to the side, like, yeah, I'm going to punish you and, you know, break up with you, so to speak, but... I'll keep you on the back burner in case I can't get over you or um, I just am not prepared to date. I feel like somebody is stressing out and worrying that they're going to be alone, that you know that they'll have to get over this relationship and then be too messed up to even get into another relationship or to be able to open themselves up to, or open yourselves up to, to dating again. Okay, how you see yourself is the Three of Pentacles. Three, three of Pentacles. What is wrong with me? The Six of Pentacles reverse with the King of Swords. So you see yourself as, um, you know, seeing the situation very clearly now that this has never been equal in your favor. Um, you're seeing, you know, yeah, you, you've gained like wis wisdom, wisdom and clarity that helps you see this uh, behavior that you've been putting up with. And you're understanding that you deserve more, you deserve better. But I still feel that there's this um, this fear that, that you're having, like maybe that's why you don't wanna take that final step to end it completely because you're just afraid that, that you're gonna be too guarded with other people, you know, because this has obviously caused a lot of pain or it will be causing a lot of pain here. In the month of November um, how your partner sees you is guarded being guarded being um, well look at that ten of cups the chariot reverse and the tower Wow I feel like they they feel that you're trying to salvage whatever you can because this um, relationship that was once happy I, I do feel for many for most of you this is going to be a marriage um, it just went off the tracks it, it seemed like out of nowhere um, and it may have been I, I feel like there was a third party that was you know there was no suspicion of it and then all of a sudden it came out. And, and for some of you, it, the partner could have actually just said it, you know, like I have somebody else and um, I don't know, maybe they're in love with that per. They were in love with that person or they just didn't want to give them up. Something like that I get for some of you. Um, but yeah, they kind of feel that even though there was all this drama and all this chaos and everything kind of like the shit hit the fan, I get the feeling that they perceive you as uh, still wanting to hold on to this and so they feel like I kind of get the feeling like you know yeah they're angry but they'll be back you know like that's how they're seeing you that they kind of feel like you're so in love with them that no matter what they do you may get angry temporarily but eventually you'll come back 
or they'll be able to pull you back, you know? So, okay, so hopes or fears, we have the High Priestess Reverse. Nine of Pentacles Reverse. I really feel you guys are, are fearing being alone. Yeah, it's, it's like you don't know what to do because you don't want to let go of this relationship. You don't want to be alone. The King of Cups reverse. Again, you have two. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. And this person is definitely like a weakness, major weakness for you. You don't want to move on. The overall outcome is the King of Cups reverse with the Justice reverse. The Two of Cups. And the Seven of Wands reverse. Um... I honestly feel that whoever this person is in your life, they they definitely tug at your heartstrings, um, but they do it in a very manipulative way. So it's like it's like they almost sense that if I do the right things or say the right things, they'll stay no matter what happens. They'll find a way to get back in or something like that. Um, But I feel like as time goes on, you guys are going to start to see it clearer and clearer and clearer until you just, you know, you're faced with the moment where you just have to end up making that decision whether or not you want to continue to put up with this from this person or make that final decision to cut it out. And I feel like eventually that's what's going to happen because it's going to become so clear um, of how emotionally manipulative this partner has been or is. Um, and you know, yeah, you, there is this love and this deep connection here. However, it's just not right to stick around. Okay. So as much as you love this person, it has to be reciprocated. Otherwise it's just not healthy. So you deserve that same amount of love that you are giving out is exactly what you should be receiving. And if that's not the case, then maybe it's just not worth fighting for. We have that seven of wands there reverse. It's just not worth fighting for. Okay, sorry guys. All right, sometimes we just need to hear it so that we can, um, it can click in our minds and we can say, okay, Maybe that was the sign somebody was looking for. And if it was, then that's what my job is. Okay, so let's move on to finance and career and see what's going on there. of the deck the knight of pentacles reverse king of cups reverse ace of swords reverse the four of wands judgment reverse and the five of swords i feel like there's a lot going on in november um So where the focus is going to be in, is you feeling safe and stable. 
um, because I do feel like there, there may be a lot of conflict and confusion around you. Uh, also, I feel like emotionally you're going to be affected. And so this is adding to it because I feel like you're just, you know, you're not really seeing clearly. It's just going to be one of those months. So let's see. King of Cups reverse, we have the Ten of Wands. So definitely, again, this could be from your relationship for those of you who are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Even though it's a, you know, that that that's an emotional relationship, it definitely does um, somehow end up affecting your career, affecting your love life. Because a lot of times when we're so focused and burdened by sadness or depression or you know it, it affects every aspect of your life uh, and I feel I do feel that for some of you that's the case here well, the Empress for some of you I feel like you're um, in a career or job where you, you you put in a lot of man hours, a lot of work, a lot of, you know, a lot goes into it to try to make something happen, but it just does not fulfill you. It does nothing for you. And it's like you almost feel like you're spinning your wheels for nothing. The Ace of Swords reverse, we have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So um, I do feel like you're giving this opportunity after opportunity, but it, it just kind of proves to be not lucrative for you. Um, I feel like a lot of you are kind of stuck in like this dead end position uh, that, you know, maybe you've been there for a while and, and it offers security, like some sort of security, but in the sense that it's almost like you know you're never going to get fired or anything like that, but this, you know, and it's like you know it. You know that you, there's not much more up to go, but you can't seem to make the decision to leave this place, so, you, you know, you're kind of stuck there. Four of Wands. Page of Cups reverse. The Knight of Swords. And the Seven of Cups reverse. I do feel like some of you have been looking for other opportunities, but it's like you're not getting any offers. It's like you don't see that there's any other opportunities out there for you. And so you're kind of guarding this job because it's kind of like your go-to. You know what I mean? Like you know you're not going to get fired from here. And if you look at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles again in the reverse. So there is a sense of being stagnant here. It's like you're, you're not satisfied emotionally, creatively with this job. Um, you're not happy with it. It's it's kind of like just busy work for you. It's maybe very stressful, and there and you know I don't feel like it pays well either. So there could be a lot of stress and anxiety about you know getting the bills paid and all of that. But what it does offer is a stable job. So it's kind of a trade-off. Like yeah, it's a stable job, but it doesn't pay all that well. And there's really no more room for advancement. Like maybe you've already gone as high as you can there. And there's not much more to look forward to. So there is like a sense here that there's a lack of clarity as to what to do. You're mentally conflicted. Let's take a look. Judgment. Reverse. We have the Nine of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. Let me do one more for this one. And the chariot reverse, yeah. Um, 
I almost feel like it's going to take you getting fired to actually get out of there. Um, it's like you're not really getting that wake up call and you keep continuing to push forward, push forward, no matter how, look at this card, no matter how bruised you are, no matter how, you know, down on your luck you may feel or you may be or unsuccessful, you know, it's like you don't see the way out of this or you just keep doing what you, what you're doing, but, but you're tired. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. What is this conflict about? The Nine of Pentacles Reverse. The financial obligations are what's keeping you there. Um, you're just really afraid that if you leave this job, you're not going to find anything else. And then, you know, how will you pay those bills? The Fool. Yeah, you're afraid that if you leave, you are going to cause um, more financial distress in your life. The sun reverse. So that, that's that lack of clarity. That's what you're needing this month is clarity to, you know see what it is that that is going to be best for you but I I, I kind of get the sense that maybe right now is just not the time to make the move um, but it can certainly be the time to plan the move especially you know with this all this retrograde energy and we have Venus in retrograde and then we're going to have Mercury in retrograde which is that would not be a good time to be looking for a job either um, or like signing any contracts or anything so it is a good time though to be planning which is what i'm getting here i feel like you guys have to just come to the realization that this place there's no further you know no no place further to go you know as far as like advancing your career or, or getting anywhere um making more money stuff like that so if you want that you need to look elsewhere um, and, and like I said, I, I, if you, I sense that you guys are feeling like it's not the time, you just don't know what to do, you're mentally conflicted, I agree. It's not the time. But that doesn't mean that we just sit there and let days turn into months and months turn into years. No, we can still, like, there, there needs to be a plan is what I'm feeling here. Um set a goal and work toward that work on your exit strategy is what i feel here okay i hope that helps you guys i'll see you soon